Hey, it's Shook. Welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So we are here to do Leo's reading for the first half of September. Hope you guys are doing well. Let me say now, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I never say that and I need to. Okay, so I'm trying to get into the habit, okay? Um, thank you for coming through my channel. I really do appreciate it. I enjoy doing tarot so much. It helps uplift me and keep me grounded and keep me... Um, to make positive decisions i'm a gemini and we all know how we are okay the leos know how the gemini's are okay so thank you for coming through all right it's for leo okay hey leo your overall energy is the seven of swords okay with the king of wands right behind that okay um that was just in reverse you could be coming out of a situation um with someone that you know this can be like this is a like a like player energy like you know non-committal you know he wants to jump your bones okay um, the seven of schools energy, lacking trust, all right? Don't trust this person, maybe, all right? Let's see. Um, so, uh, your person's energy, okay, is the four of swords. They're trying to heal, trying to, you know, get themselves together. Um, taking a break, you guys could be definitely taking a break from each other. Um, a lot of swords energy here, okay? So, that's air sign. Um, but this person is just taking a break. If you look at her face, you know, she just looked like, what did I get myself into? Like, how did I, you know. So, it's, a, it's an opportunity to reflect. Okay. Um, their intentions. Three of swords. Okay. More sword energy. We won't clarify it. Don't worry. All right. <sighs> How's it going to impact you? The world. So that's ending one cycle. This might be a breakup. Because this is ending a cycle and beginning a new cycle. Right? So Leo, you're ending a cycle and that's okay. You're ending a cycle to begin a brand new one. Alright? And you might want to do that if they're inflicting this upon you. Okay? Here in the first half of September. Um, what they're not telling you justice okay they're trying to seek their justice maybe them separating from you is their justice you can be dealing with a libra we're going to clarify um how do they feel about you nine of swords you're stressing them out okay but that doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong to stress them out leo you just are okay they're stressed, all right? Um, your advice, Leo, is the Knight of Wands, okay? And as you can see, sis is moving. She's kicking it. Run after what you desire. Kick it. That's your advice. Your outcome, your happiness. You, okay? Just kick it. Told you. I told you. I told you. <laughs> I told you. Okay? Kick it. You don't trust this person anyway. Because all they do with that king of wands is um, whatever they want to do. Okay? It's for Leo in the first half of September. Maybe they're not trying to commit to you. All right, because that King of Wands can be a little non-committal, right? A little um, deceptive too. Like the the King of Wands will tell you, like, oh yeah, I don't love nobody but you, and then you see him with somebody else the next day. So, you know, do what you gotta do for you. Okay. All right. First half of September. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> The Six of Swords came out. Leo, you kicking it, okay? 
Don't worry, we're going to get through this. Clarify the Seven of Swords, please. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Leo in the first half of September. Clarify the Seven of Swords, please. For Leo in the first half. Okay, yeah. It's, it's going down. It's going down here in the first half of September. First thing out. The tower. Alright, it's going down. Something is going to transpire between you and your person that is going to make you feel like, you know what? You are a liar. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever the case may be. Clarify the seven of swords. For Leah in the first half of September. Death. Listen, it don't get no more clear. Like, it doesn't get no more clear. And I'm not going to clarify no more. That's Scorpio energy. You could be done for Scorpio. But what I'm saying is, Spirit is saying, get out of there. It's done. It's a done deal. You got several endings. Ending, ending. Okay, we saw the tennis walls try to come out. All right? Tower, destruction. All right? Turn, turn this down. Look, Knight of Cups in reverse. Clarify this um, four swords for their person that's healing over here. This person is taking a break. This person is regrouping. Okay. The moon, right? They could be suppressing their feelings, okay? Not telling you how they feel, okay? Holding back secrets, okay? The moon is a card of secrets. Clarify the four swords. You get the Six of Cups and the Five of Cups, all right? They could be reflecting back on the past, okay, with some disappointment, um, looking, at back, looking back at how things were and, you know, reflecting on how disappointing that was. Something about the past that they're disappointed in, okay? There's something about the past that they're disappointed in. The King of Cups is on the bottom. It could have something to do with the expression of love. Like feeling like they didn't express love enough. Because the King of Cups has a lot of love but doesn't say anything about it. <laughs> like he doesn't tell you. So they might be reflecting on their past. How they maneuvered with you in the past. Right? How they might have suppressed their feelings with, for you in the past. Being deceptive with the Seven of Swords. Right? Let's clarify... This three of swords. Three of swords. Why is the three of swords here for Leo in the first half of September? For Leo. First half of September. Three of Pentacles. Okay, so their intentions. Three of Pentacles. Clarify. This is their intentions. Clarify this Three of Swords. Okay. Got the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Wands is like, it's kind of like the Empress. It's growth, it's nurturing, it's abundance, it's patience, right? She's patient, she's abundant, she's um, giving, nurturing, right? And then you have the Seven of Wands. I feel like your person, look at it, because... Doesn't this three of wands, I mean, these, I'm sorry, the three of pentacles look at, um, look like a heart, right? And then you have the three of swords, of course, in the heart. It almost seems like 
like they're going to try to do something to repair your heart their intentions look at that doesn't look like they're trying to repair your heart it was like this on the table uh -oh. it was like this on the table when they look at it, they're trying to repair your heart so i feel like they see you or they're looking back or thinking back on the past and they're like you know well leo was very nurturing leo was my queen of pinnacles okay and they're trying to repair your heart okay and with the seven of wands i feel like they want to defend their position they want to um stand up for this connection now okay but what it's going to do for you look putting down wands five five of wands in, the, in reverse now okay let's clarify the world for you the Ace of Pentacles, it came out reverse. You got the Hierophant. Okay. And the Ten of Wands, it came out in reverse. I don't read reversals. I just take into consideration what they mean or what they're trying to say. You could have been in a, in a, con, a commitment... Uh, this almost seems like you're ending a commitment, okay? So the world was clarified by the Hierophant, the Ace of Pentacles, which came out in reverse, and the Ten of Wands, which came out in reverse. I think that maybe this person, you know, came to you or was coming to you um, in the energy of, I broke your heart. I'm sorry about that. Let me fix it. And you're giving the energy of, I don't trust you anymore, right? Because you're right. You want to end the cycle. You're ending the cycle to begin a new one. Okay, I think that they wanted to start over with you with this Ace of Pentacles, um, but it came out in reverse. I don't think you re accepted it. Okay, I don't think you're going to accept it because it's, it's for the first half of September. You have the Ten of Wands. Okay, that's a heavy burden. It came out in reverse. I feel like you're dropping a burden. I feel like you think this is a burden. All right, the Hierophant, Hierophant is also there. You could be ending this commitment with them. All right, could have been married to them. Okay. Long-term commitment here, right? The Ace of Swords is in reverse. It almost kind of means like you don't, you don't trust them. You don't feel like they're telling the truth. They could be like, oh, you know, things could be different. I'll change, you know, whatever. No. But you don't trust them. Let's clarify justice here. Because secrets, justice is a secret, Okay. You're thinking you're getting your justice, but they're not really giving you your justice? Clarify this justice, please. That's the secret. Why is justice the secret? Because to me, justice is doing what's right. So they're coming at you like they're doing what's right, but they're not. Okay? The fool in reverse now. Okay? They're coming at you like, I want to start over. I want a brand new beginning with you, but they don't. Okay? Eight of Swords. Okay? self-restricting they're not they're not trying to move forward they might be giving you the see that's what the king of wands does remember the king of wands the king of wands is at the bottom of the deck okay the bottom of this deck right and the king of wands can sometimes be the energy of selling you hopes and dreams selling you wishes okay Selling you, you know, your heart's desires, okay? So they're telling you, like, oh, I love you a lot, you know, but then, you know, you catch them in bed with somebody else. Or, um, you know, I'm going to make this right. I'm going to do better, okay? And then they don't, okay? So the fool in reverse. You got the justice as the secrets in the secret section, the secret um, portion of the spread, all right? They might be telling you that they want to start over and have a new beginning with you, but they don't. Okay, they are restricting themselves, all right. And then you have the um, three of swords here with the eight of pentacles. I feel like you're going to um, you're going to get communication about something that that is going to hurt your heart. Either it's going to hurt your heart, or it's about what did hurt your heart already. Okay, and that will be your justice. It's like you're going to get the truth that you need. You're going to get that communication. Clarify this nine of swords. 
get the king of cups and the six of swords okay so how they feel about you they have a lot of love for you okay they're not saying it okay um six of swords they may see you in the energy of moving on okay so they see that you want to go to calmer water that you're not um as invested in this anymore okay um they're seeing that all right they want to draw you back in and that's what's stressing them out the fact that you're not okay they tried to offer you the pinnacle and you was like uh-uh uh-uh honey yeah nine of swords and five of swords yeah they're stressed because they definitely feel defeated all right Clarify this Knight of Wands. This is the, your advice, okay? Let's clarify this. What is Spirit telling Leo here in the first half of September? Two of Wands. Plan your next move. Didn't I tell you to kick it? I told you to kick it in the beginning. This is That's what this is saying, okay? Two of Wands is plan your next move. Your, your overall energy for that, that piece right there is the Knight of Wands, okay? And that is taking action on something. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. All right, Spirit is saying, plan your next move. Give me another one for this uh, Knight of Wands. What should what else should Leo do here in the first half of September? Look, listen, woo wee. Could be dealing with an Earth sign. Got the King of Pentacles here. The Pentacles, the King of Pentacles came out in reverse. Okay, so it could be saying like, let this person go. Okay. And manifest um, your opportunities. You got the magician. All right. I feel like this is how it came out. All right. To me, that's kind of saying like letting go of that responsibility. That like that's not, that's no longer something you have to deal with anymore. Yeah, I feel definitely. Remember up here with the three of swords, your person saw you as the queen of pentacles very nurturing very caring da, da, da. you were there you were in a divine connection with them the hierophant long term you could have been married to them okay with the king of pentacles being here and coming on reverse this is you dropping that king of pentacles you dropping your mate this is your person right here you're putting them down and you're manifesting new opportunities planning your way forward planning your future Planning your next move. For sure. Absolutely. Clarify this Nine of Cups. And when you do that, Leo. Woo. When you do that, you get this Nine of Cups. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Best son. Your card. Leo. Listen. If you don't get it out of your life. Give me a note for this Nine of Cups. Leo, get it out of your life. Do not listen to that. No more lies. You don't trust them as it is. We already see that. It's the overall energy. I don't trust this person. Okay? No more lies. You don't have to deal with that. Mm -mm. All you got to do is spirit. All, this, all spirit is saying is drop that zero. So you can get your hero. Okay? Plan your next move and how you want to move forward. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh -wee. Hmm. So I'm I'm going to um read this the way I see it. Of course. Who else would you be reading for? Okay. Here we go. You get the seven of pentacles next to the nine of pentacles. Okay. This is investment. Nine of pentacles is you, okay? It's um independent you, okay? This is you having um, all of what you need. You're abundant, okay? You got all of the money that you need. You can pay your bills. You're doing good, okay? You stand on your own two feet, all right? You well and abundant, all right? The seven of pentacles here next to it, I feel like it's saying invest in you, okay? Invest in you, all right? And then you get the devil in reverse and the eight of pentacles, okay? Removing toxicity out of your life, okay? Removing no longer continuing to put the effort into something that is toxic okay no longer putting the effort in 
to something that is not going to help you grow. No longer putting the effort in to something that is negative. That's going to darken your light. Okay, you're the sun, Leo. Don't let that happen. You got the sign. <laughs> That's all that matters, okay? Let's get you one of these. When I tell you that the Leo, I mean, the um, fire sign readings have been about protecting your energy, like protecting um, what you have for you. You know what I'm saying? Like protecting your livelihood, protecting your peace. So far, so good. Fire signs. Y'all want some boss up stuff. I'm about it. I'm with it. This is good. And I hope that you actually take heed to this and follow. If this is your situation. If this resonates. If you can see you and your, your partner all up and through this. Please follow that advice and outcome. So you can get that outcome. That outcome is lit. It's so lit. It's brightening up. It's bright. It brightens up the whole, the whole spread. I see that one down there. I'm gonna get one more. For Leo, in the first half of September. Okay, but this one says, "When I am patient, I let the universe do for me what I cannot do for myself." Then we just talk about that. All you have, you don't have to do nothing. I just said that, so you don't got to do nothing. All you got to do is follow this advice, and it's going to happen for you. Okay? So it says, when I am patient, I let the universe do for me what I cannot do for myself. All right? I hope you can see that. All right? This one says, I release time and let the universe show me what to do. Look, in, in, in two different affirmations, you get... Letting the universe, letting God, letting the higher power guide you. That's all you have to do. Okay? Listen to your intuition. You already, what, how you feel is facts. Okay? I, like my mother used to always say, if you think somebody lying, they are. Your intu that's your intuition talking to you. If you really truly feel that way. You're like, oh no. Oh no, it's something. It isn't. Okay? Listen to it. Even if it's not as big as you might think, it is. So that's what I have for you, Leo. I hope it helps. And I look forward to seeing you real soon. Single. I'm ready to mingle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. Um, I miss you guys already. Bye bye.